Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a bonus episode of the SUP podcast. I'm here with my good friend, Chris Cheney, as usual. What's up, guys? You know, he came in for the guest solo pod, you know, normally oh, yeah. it's a solo pod situation, but I came in. I got some I got some of my boys with me. It's your boy, Luke Trevisi. And with us is our guest, Brendan Sagalo. What's up, Brendan? Wait a minute. Am I a bonus episode? Yeah. <laughs> How <laughs> dare you? You're a bonus episode, baby. How dare you? Am I not a am I not a episode proper? No, <laughs> not even. What close. am I behind a paywall? You fuck. No, no, you're no, you're a, free. You're free. Join the you're free. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan has an album that just came out, not now, not ever, and we wanted to just give him a, a little bit of a sub podcast bump. It's actually not now more than ever. Not now well, more um, than ever. But <laughs> I'm quit. not gonna. All right, cool. You you host. The <laughs> I'm not gonna hold. I do. I I host a bunch. I uh, I'm not gonna hold that against you because everybody's been doing it. For, people alike, everyone, fucking the big dogs, the small dogs. Everybody just cannot wrap their head around the name. Not, not now, now more than ever. Not now more than ever. Yeah, which is fine. But, you know, I thought it was a pretty clever name. Once you know what the name is, you're like, that's a good name. It's a good name. It's that's got some great bits name. on it. I highly suggest you listen Thank to it. You. I assume it's on every DSP. We're saying SoundCloud. Like, Where can people find it if they're looking? You can get it. Uh, you can't get it off of SoundCloud because I'm a I'm a adult. So <laughs> you have to you can get off Spotify and get off iTunes. Um, we were number We were number one for six days, baby. Six days. Wow. Yeah. Now. I don't wow, know. Wow, wow. I don't know. Am I Selena Gomez? Am I Demi Lovato? I don't know. Katy Perry? Who knows? But we were number one for six days. You know, that's that's huge to me. OK, that's a big thing for me. So you can get it off of iTunes. You can get off of Spotify if you don't want to pay for it. If you don't want to give the fat cats the money. OK, mm -hmm. listen to it off Spotify or Apple Music or whatever. And then just Venmo me money. People have been doing that. I like it. Wow. That's a good move. What's the I don't know if I should even be admitting that. Yeah, what's uh, your what's your Venmo? No one listens to this, so you're fine. At Brendan Sagalo. <laughs> at no no, it's at Brendan Dash Sagalo. Perfect. We'll put it in the description. Put it in the description. Put, the in the well. description. put it in the description. We wanted to bring on Brendan to kind of walk through his little sneaker journey, what he's been through. And so the first thing I'm gonna ask you, you have any recent pickups? What's the last pair of sneakers that you bought? The last pair that I bought um, are the Jordan Six SEO Retros. Um, I'll show them to you. They're they're they were my show shoes for a while, but then I threw out these. Your like, show shoes, hilarious. Yes, please show us. Yeah. Have you never had show shoes before, Chris? No, all of our shoes are show. All shoes. of our shoes are show shoes. <laughs> and that is why you are where you are. So let me show you. <laughs> Yo, I love how he said the full name. Yeah. <laughs> Like what's on the box? <laughs> he, like, he doesn't know that nickname. He, he, uh, he can't defend himself. <laughs> he doesn't have the mic. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, now, now we can really talk phone. shit. His album sucks. Don't listen okay. to it. No, I'm that's kidding. Not cool. That's not cool, man. No, no, no. I'm, I'm kidding. No, I'm. Brendan's very funny. <laughs> oh, I think these are the hair 2.0s. <laughs> I think these are the hair two, which are sevens. Oh, hilarious! I I, I didn't see. Okay, boys. Let's see him. Oh. Yeah. Those are the hair 2.0s. 2.0s. They look like bunnies. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're based off Bugs Bunny. Yeah. And they're so fucking comfortable, dude. Yes. yes they're they so are. comfortable. I put have do you own a pair? I do. Let me see. These exact I, ones? Bro, I gotta go all the way downstairs to my sneaker closet to get them. He does have a pair though. I don't have a pair of those, but I do this like makes them. me want to burn these if you have a pair. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you, but you know, you like I like feeling uh well, don't worry. I'm, I'm selling them. <laughs> Dude, do you want to hear a story about those? So yeah. uh, so I bought them off Nike.com, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they sent it. So my I fucking I live at a place where I live on a road and the around the block for me is an avenue. And anytime you put into the GPS my address, it comes up the avenue first. So bane uh, of bane ooh. of my existence. Because you're in Queens, man. right? Yeah, so it's the bane of my existence. I fucking I, I've had to go get delivery food over there. I've 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 lost relationships with Chinese places because I yelled at them for not bringing it to me. And uh, so yes. I, I order these shoes, 190 bucks, right? They send it to the avenue. I call them and I go, I never got them. And they go, OK, send me the money back. This was before I even knew they had it was at the avenue. I just didn't get it. And I was like, where the fuck is it? And they were like, sorry. And, we're, and they were like, 
They were like, here's your money back. Put the money right back in my card. And then I went, oh, maybe they're around the block. And I went around the block and I went, hi, uh, my name is Brendan. He went, the Nikes. Yeah. And I went, wow. yeah. Wow. Yes, dude. Biggest come up of the century. I paid Biggest retail for mine. I, I got to sell them. So I got it for free. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're doing better than the podcast at this point. We're a sneaker podcast and we don't get that's a good shit. story. <laughs> Great you story. Don't, you guys got to get some sneaker sponsors. Is that why you started a sneaker podcast? Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to secure. No, we just like sneakers. <laughs> Possible. OK, don't get, don't get I kind of have a sponsor being a sample size and I have friends that work everywhere. What's your what's your sponsor? No, I just like I, I used to work at Reebok. I used to work at Adidas. So I got people mm. over there. And then my boy works at Nike, Jordan. So sometimes I get shit from him. Yeah. It's like a half sponsor. I got to be lucky, but sometimes I get him. It's nice. OK, cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Love mm -hmm. it. Yeah, these shoes are so comfortable. I just I forgot I even had them until you said, what's your favorite sneaker? I've been wearing Tim's all fucking winter. Tim's are valid. Tim's are valid. Tim's are Don't, valid. Yeah. Do not lace them up. Don't make the same mistake I did, buddy. You will get <laughs> trashed in the comment section. Lace them up. What do you mean? Like all the way to the top? Yeah. What are you crazy? No, you let the fucking <laughs> you let the tongue flap. You out, know, it's, it's bad when Brendan is right. Like, no. you know, what like, are you talking about? It's bad. How do you know? Fucking... No, no, no. Not you. What, not... what is my relationship with you guys? What do you think we have here? <laughs> OK, do you think we're at a level where we could just bust each other's balls here? Yeah. Yeah. I went camping with Chris once and now he thinks he's my fucking uncle. We got iced <laughs> coffee every Wednesday. I know. It was so nice. It used it to so... be nice. I used to show up to New York Comedy Club. He'd be working there. He'd be on the phones just like, uh-huh. Yeah. No, you could check on the website. You could just check on the website. You yeah, 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 website. yeah, yeah. All <laughs> oh, the was... lineups, yep. And I just yeah. give him a fucking iced coffee every time. I know, I know, system. dude. Working at a comedy club, it was like one of the easiest jobs. When it when, when it was not easy, it was, it was very not easy, but... It was exactly what Luke's saying. You pick up the phone. You're like, uh-huh. Yeah, no, that's all on the website. Okay, thank you. Bye. You just And then I go back to whatever I'm doing, watching Peaky Blinders or whatever. <laughs> nice. Realistically, yeah. he's like working on bits and telling himself he's trash. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Thank you. I, I listen to you, man. You do listen. And I'm going, Luke, is this funny? And then I'll like run something by him. And he's like, yeah. And I go, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I do like how Luke has sort of been an intern to everybody. He used to bark for me and Coscarelli every Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Luke, <laughs> Luke's the traveling intern. <laughs> <laughs> Legion of Skanks, Sagalala. <laughs> yeah, you were kind of my intern. You know, I got him coffee every day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Luke, you would make a good assistant, dude. Thank you. Thank you for telling me to strive for, for my dreams. You're strive right. for strive for third place. It's <laughs> great. Yeah. So, Brendan, on the album, you do have a bit on there where you mentioned that you were a big fan of Eminem. Yes. And my biggest question is, how did that influence your street style, like growing up? Like, what Incredible. was the style growing up? Well, when I was in high school, it was the uh, er, uh, early 2000s or or like mid mid 2000 so 2006 7 8 and 9 i was in high school and uh that was like the time when everybody was wearing like big jerseys you know like really <laughs> long nelly style chingy oh, yeah. style fabulous was like that was the style the 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 hats that were the brim like what chris is wearing but like barely on your head you know what i mean oh yes they did the little like yeah, just yes. like that, dude. Just like that. Yes. Yeah. You leave that like that for the rest of the podcast. I didn't glue it like Fabulous did to his head, so I don't know if it can maintain, but I will try. That would strain my neck trying to do what you're doing because I'd be like not moving at all. I'm not moving at all. Um, <laughs> it looks good. That's a good look for you. Thanks, buddy. And so my look was was uh, whatever Eminem was wearing at the time. So like if eight, when Eight Mile came out, I was all baggy sweatshirts with like either a backwards hat or like a beanie on or and then I'd get to a point where it'd be the same look but with a do rag under the beanie I would wear oh, a lot no no yeah 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 I'd have a white wow. do rag under a black beanie yeah that explains why he knows about the Tims though <laughs> buddy I know so much more than you think huh I believe it <laughs> and uh so that was my fucking look for I mean when I wasn't trying to be like Billy Joe Armstrong or or Tom DeLonge, if I was if I, I would be dressing exactly like what Eminem was wearing. I still have a sweatshirt in my closet. I cannot get rid of this thing. It's like a comfort sweatshirt. It's an it's a four XL shady limited. Yes. red Sweatshirt. Do you know what that's what about? I'm talking about. Put it on. Put it on. That is the fucking shit I'm talking about. I want to see it. I want to see it. 
Brandon. So me and Sagalo clearly had a similar uh, choice in how we dressed. Yeah, that's why I figured you'd be great for this this bonus pod. He the problem with Sagalo is he looks like when Eminem and ICP started beefing. Wow. Oh, shit. It's like when Eminem and I- ICP started beefing, like he couldn't pick a side. So he just stuck with both the yeah. best he could. Yeah, because those are like his two favorite <laughs> favorite people or favorite groups, music. Yeah. I don't know. Look at this guy. He this went- is the this is the echo version for like people older than me. What the shady? The shady. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, Sagalo. This is exactly what I looked like in high school. Sa- Sagalo, that's your show hoodie now. So you throw <laughs> yeah. on the hairs and you throw that on, baby, and you are good to go. Yeah. So this is what I would look like in high school. I was either like this, with the hood completely over the hat, like that, you know? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like that, head down, fucking listening to the Eight Mile soundtrack, or. <laughs> like this with the like Fred Durst yeah I guess Fred Durst if, if you want to say Fred Durst sure sure <laughs> nice nice wow. nice bro wow yeah. look at you <laughs> proud of you thanks dude look at this king right here and I would have <laughs> bleached hair of course fuck yeah this is good I'm keeping this on the entire time keep you it should. on comfortable Keep it on. Now you have you just gained like a thousand cloud points with our listeners. Yeah. What's up, dogs? <laughs> Yo. Uh. Uh. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Yo, freestyle. Yo, I'm going to make a living sitting, spitting all the shit I've written. I'm a toy soldier holding out for six figures. You be talking back, sitting back, talking crap, dropping names. <laughs> yeah. Like you dropping. <laughs> Dropping facts like you dropping names, you faggots might as well be butterfingers. Whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. See, with Hell you yeah. and me, there's no similarity. Oh, oh. I doubt your rhymes could climb your crumb. I'm something that you'll barely be. Oh, oh. oh. The hilarity you wrote that of you with your priority. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get a laugh or two, but that's not my priority. Oh, oh. uh huh. Uh huh. Was he running these bars by you at New York Comedy Club also? He was. <laughs> and he and he enjoyed them. He went, those are good. He liked it he better like, than yeah. the bits. Yeah, I was like, wow, wow, G. Willikers, Brendan. These are great. These are our hip rhymes. <laughs> these are hip rhymes, buddy. <laughs> so I know that you got you got other podcasts that you got to jump on at some uh-huh. point. So we're just going to play a quick game with you before you, before we get out of here. Uh, okay. so, so right now I have a couple of different shoes from the past year or uh-huh. past couple years that have come out. And we're going to show them to you. You're going to get some initial thoughts. And then I'm going to get you to guess how much they cost. Okay. Right? So that's resale or retail? Resale. Resale. <clears throat> resale. So on the secondary market. So I'm, I'm novice at the resale thing. Perfect. Uh, do, would that mean that it's going to be more or less? More. more. Well, it depends. Sometimes it's less. Generally but speaking, all of these more. are going to be more. Okay. All of these are going to be more. Yeah. So, First one I'm going to sh- bring up for you right now. Hold on. I'm going to bring up the sh- my shoe of 2020. These are called the Chunky Dunkies. Oh, I've seen these before. The um, Ben and Jerry's ones, right? Yes. Yep. I'm going to say uh, I'm going to say 250 to 300. OK, OK. Any other thoughts about them? What do you think of like the design? I think they're ugly. I don't like them. I think there's too many colors. I love Ben and Jerry's and but we know like, you love Ben and Jerry's. I know. I know. <laughs> I have a whole uh, bit about it on my album. So check that out. Wow. And, uh, yeah. So I like I like them. They're OK. I think they look better on black people than they do white people. <laughs> um, that is probably the most truest statement. Brendan that's has very ever true. Said. That's very yeah, true. Yeah. So uh, I would never wear them. But and I, I if someone came to me with these, I would go. Just make like 500 of them and who cares? You know what I mean? I'd be like, sure, let's make them, but let's not, you know, they're they're not great looking. And you're going to lock in that price of 250 to 300? Yeah. Okay. The resale price on the Chunky Dunky is $1,425. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yes. <laughs> How do you even buy? Why would you buy those? Because flex, yeah, to flex on people. That's why the same way, the same reason you buy a shady 4XL hoodie. 
That's true. <laughs> but this was sixty dollars, not a thousand. I mean, why do you think only Michael Che has these? Yeah, that's so true. That is so fucking true. I did see those on a on one of my uh, shoe shoe apps that, and it was not that much money. Well, things have changed, and they are mad monies now. <laughs> okay. They also came with a very the retail price. Retail price, if you will, no retail, retail price was a hundred dollars. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That you could wow. see. You could you would spend a hundred dollars on these. Maybe I'll just start buying sneakers. Don't do it. It's, <laughs> it's just a it's just a, a a game of regret and and losses. Yeah, just just go on Reddit and buy GameStop stock. Don't. Yeah, <laughs> like okay. th- that is much more <laughs> lucrative of a business strategy. Yes. Mm-hmm. But we're not financial advisors. You can't you can't take our advice. Okay. I just want to say that for the <laughs> for the listeners. So the next okay. thing I have here, these are the Air Jordan Dior ones. Oh, I love those. Are you those do? the Pop Smoke ones? Uh, I know. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah. I know Dior is just a name of a song, and it's based on the fucking thing but doesn't that look like the like that would be pop smoke based sneakers like the gray and white yeah yeah you, yeah it's actually not wrong yeah exactly Jesus christ i don't know what the <laughs> fuck i'm talking about oh no, that's okay anyway. it's good this is we are we're getting fresh thoughts on on these shoes outside right. of the, the right, sneaker so head world i'm gonna say i i would wear these i think they're awesome what um, do you like about them the color i love the color inside of the swoosh okay I think that okay. whole pattern and I think it just works well with the, the colors and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I probably wouldn't lace them up like he is just because I'm I'll never play basketball in my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to say these are going to go to. I want to say four, fourteen hundred. Fourteen hundred. Wow. Hundred. Wow. That's a solid guess. He went from. He went from uh, what three hundred. He just took well, what the I last one was know. worth and guessed it, that this would be the same amount. No, I didn't say it would be the same amount, but uh, I, I was looking at those and I went, "Would those be more expensive than the other ones?" And I don't think they would be by that much. Okay, so the Jordan Dior one seven thousand dollars. That's the lowest ask. The last sale was nine thousand dollars. What the fuck? Why <laughs> would you do this? Who has nine thousand dollars lying around for sneakers? People who What's shop at Dior. The fucking point. So the flex. Oh my <laughs> yeah, god. The flex. So the story behind these is that they actually retailed at two thousand uh, dollars. They were only available to people who were basically it's like friends and family, like people who spent a shit ton of money at Dior and maybe some like raffle winners. Jesus so fucking Christ! If you want a pair of these, you walked away with. A significant chunk of money if you sold them. Wow! Holy shit! Oh my god! But oh the my materials, god. buddy, I gotta tell you, the materials on them. Oh my god! Great, fine Italian leather. Does anybody care? Not really. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Yeah, these these I like fucked kind of boring. A bunch of shit up. Now that now that they're seven, nine thousand dollars, you're like they're, they're not they're worth a nine thousand dollars. These no, are absolutely. they're boring in a. In a in a not good way. Some shoes are boring, and you're like, they they have to be like that. And they th- like their boringness makes them cool. Okay. These are just like too boring, not worth nine thousand dollars. I'm actually glad that you mentioned a, a boring shoe, uh, because the next shoe that I have are the New Balance five fifties. Oh, I like those. These are kind of a, a, like I think a more boring shoe. Those are what I'm talking about, though. They're yeah. so boring that they look fucking cool and they look um, hip. And I'm going to guess a million dollars. No, these are the I'll say I'll give you a hint. These are more reasonably uh, priced on the resale market. All right. Eight hundred. OK, OK. What do you like about the shoes? You just like the colors? I like the color of the green. Mm-hmm. I like the style of it. I think m- m- sometimes most of the time new ba- new balance can be like a dad shoe or it could be like mm-hmm. it could just look gross and you're like new balance is like for people that just don't care about shoes i feel mm-hmm. like and um this shoe actually looks like they're taking a crack at trying to be something that like i feel like a rapper could wear you know okay okay all right so that's a pretty fair said, analysis that's that's a i'll give you a little credit analysis. on that one sag listen sagalo has been kind of hitting with these with these analysis analyses <laughs> i know what i'm talking about Except the price, I guess. Price he doesn't know, but that's okay. You don't got to know the market. 
So you said okay. eight hundred dollars on these. Yeah. The final price on these is gonna be. Last sale was six ten. We're hovering around four oh five to six twenty. Wow. Wow. Not so. Bit. When I'm looking at them now like that, though, I don't like how round they are. Right. That's just kind of how they land on f uh, without being. Yeah. On feet. Yeah. There. There definitely is a difference between wearing them, like having them on feet, and then just looking at the shoe. Yeah. But they but, still are cool. I like. I like. Uh, I like that whole style. Yeah, I figured you'd like these. I figured you would. They look like a shoe that, like, you put on that's stylish, but also, you know, not a show shoe. You know, you could just walk. You go like, not oh, a show not shoe. Not a show shoe. Not a show shoe. No. Wow. Wow. I like. Yeah. yeah. Good analysis, Sorry, boys. Thank you. Okay, this is the next one. Oh, these are like ten grand, aren't they? <laughs> are they the? They're like the Kanye West ones. Yeah, these are the yeah, these are size ones. Yeah, those are like ten thousand dollars, right, or something <laughs> like that. Uh, not quite ten thousand dollars, but what do you think of them first? I hate them. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do I think of them? They look like they look like something you'd give to a cult. Mm-hmm. They're I horrible. Mean, they're <laughs> Again, are they comfortable? I don't know. They're but... apparently the most comfortable pair of slides anyone's ever worn. Yeah, who said that? Kanye? Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we gotta um, listen to Kanye. No, I hate these things, and I don't. I would never wear these. Okay, ever. I'm gonna let you. Unless someone bought them for me, I would. I would never wear them. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what are you thinking on the price? It's not gonna be ten thousand dollars. All it's, right, I'll uh, guess um, reasonable. Reasonable. But knowing Kanye, they're like seventy five thousand. There's no way I'm going lower than ten thousand. Oh, OK, I'm going to go a thousand bucks. Let's go a thousand bucks on this. A thousand bucks. OK, yeah. for Yeezy slides, we've got. Three hundred dollars on oh average. Oh, my God. OK, still still disgusting, but disgusting price of for, for a pair of sh uh, slippers, but a yeah. pair of like ghost white cum. They, they, they're cum. That color is cum. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. This is come come colored shoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Depending on what you ate that day. Sure. Disgusting. <laughs> a lot of red meat in that diet. <laughs> Depending on what you ate. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next shoe. This one is the Reebok. I just had to throw a Reebok shoe in there. Oh, I love these. These are the Toy Story Reebok. <laughs> Insta -pumps. I love them in a way that's like. This is like what a hip retard would wear <laughs> or an Asian or an Asian person. Yeah. Yes. Um, I like them. I mean, they're incredibly tacky. Mm -hmm. um, you should never wear these again. This is another shoe that I think only black people can get away with wearing or um, Asians or Asians or Asians. But if a white person wore this, they would just look shitty and white. Bro, these look like your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> They look like my wrists. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I like them, but they're more of a they're such a novelty that it's like you put them on a shelf. You don't. I mean, you can't wear. any and any girl that fucks a guy that's wearing these sneakers should be put to sleep. I think so. Um, I'm going to guess. I'm going to go, damn, 700 bucks. OK. Seven hundred dollars for the Toy Story bait rebox. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the price here. And wow, they look nice though. They do look nice. I just saw it. It's <laughs> two twenty. Oh man, maybe I'll get these. <laughs> that was part of the plan, dude. Wait, what were these retail? <laughs> these were one nine. Uh, no, two hundred. About yeah. I think yeah, the retail is two hundred. So on the resale market, you can only get twenty bucks for these. Luke, which do you is have one shipping. of these? I don't. I I'm thinking about getting them now. At that I looked. So up. wait, let me ask you something. Is it is it like you can either get Woodies or Buzzes, or is the the no, pair mix, of shoes oh, mix match? It's a mix. mix. Match. Yeah. Oh God, that sucks. Yeah. So does. the shoes don't even match. No. no. They have to know they're making an ugly sneaker when they're doing this. Yes, I think so. Yeah. They have to look at this and go, who's going to buy this? This looks like the car Homer came up with when he was when his brother <laughs> yes. hired him. Yes. yes, that's very true. Oh, my God. Awful. 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 So some of these collabs are more about like story and nostalgia and to have them on a shelf and for uh -huh. a collector thing. Like but some people would buy these and wear them. But you're more right that they're like weirdos. 
that these shoes, the person that would wear these shoes is a girl that would be like kind of cute, but you know, she like has mental issues and smells bad. And you're like, oh, wow, but she's cute though. <laughs> so every female comedian. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Any yes. girl that's in my special ed class in high school. <laughs> yes. Fucking A. Okay. We've got one last pair of shoes for you. Thanks for sticking around. This is the last shoe. It is a <laughs> Louis Vuitton sneaker cowboy boot confusion. We just talked about it last week on the show. I want oh your thoughts God. first off. Um, look, we can't all be Nas X, okay? <laughs> it's true. That's it's true. This is something that he would wear in a music video, and that's it. This is only for music videos. Or if you're performing, if you're, you know, possibly post Malone and you're performing live or you're yeah you're just in Texas boy. in Texas you should never wear these um they're disgusting they ruin two good types of shoes <laughs> <laughs> that's true they ruin two types of shoes to make one terrible shoe um what's the price they're Louis Vuittons so Louis Vuittons I'll guess two thousand bucks two thousand bucks yeah so these aren't out yet I'm definitely but the wrong retail on these are Three thousand nine hundred. So wow, close. I was close. I'm gonna give it to you as a close one. Four thousand dollars for that, huh? Yep. Four thousand dollars to look like a jackass. Wow, they, these people should be fucking murdered. I think. Wait, Luke, can you show him real quick the Lucian Clark, uh, Louis? Yeah, let me see those. Oh yes, yes, yes. So, uh, no, Sagalo, I only bring this up just because I know, as a fellow white kid who loved Eminem, you definitely also love skate shoes. Yeah, I fucking I would wear Etnies and I would wear um like Adios or whatever they're called and uh DCs were huge and I loved I think you know Vans just became the ones that I would wear. Yep. So, you know, you mentioned DC. I think these ones are an exact replica of a specific DC model. I'm sure that you owned. <sighs> okay. Those are actually cool. I would wear those black ones. Now, guess how much these are retail? Um and, and mind you, they are actually meant to skate in. Like there, there's a guy, Lucian Clark, who actually like, skates in these, and it's his shoe. Four hundred bucks. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred yeah. for skating skate in them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh god. To just ruin them. Yeah. I would wear those. So, do you guys get sneakers for your guests after the show? <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys buy me this one, the black one? The black yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, I'll get you those. The We're gonna send it to the ones? avenue. <laughs> we'll send it to the avenue address <laughs> yeah please <laughs> and then i'll get my money back from you guys <laughs> okay buddy that's wow. all the sneakers that we have for today fun wow. show fun show i, I got I, I i put a i got an outfit change for this we hell really yeah dude appreciate it dude thanks guys i love both of you listen uh we love you we love Aww. you too album's hilarious thank I you my ass off i got in trouble at work because of it but that's okay. really yeah, I was I was listening to it at I was working from my desk and my boss called and I just had the part where it's like, I'm still in love with you, my guy. <laughs> ah, great. And great. my boss was like, what the f what is that? Don't you work at like a comic book store? Uh, no, I I switched jobs recently. Oh, what do you do now? I, I work in sales. Don't we all? Yeah. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yeah. I sell, for, I sell property management software now. Ew, gross. I don't make good money. You're making good money? <laughs> I make good money. Can you enough to buy those fucking skate shoes for me? Maybe next month. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Boys, next thanks month. for having me, man. Yeah, absolutely. No, of course. One more time. What's the name of the album? The name of the album is called Not Now More Than Ever. You can pick it up anywhere that you can get music and comedy. And also give it a rate and review and... Um, just uh, follow me on everything at Brendan Sagalo. Listen to my podcast. Here's the scenario. Nice. Uh, so, yeah. Right. You can Thanks, follow the, our podcast at Sub Podcast NYC. We're going to be mostly on Instagram. So follow us on that. Uh, you can join our Discord, which is going to be in our bio. Um, I'm at Trevisus on all social media platforms. Chris. At Not That Cheney. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And then um, our boy, uh, Lawrence Deloach, couldn't make it. He's working at LZD325. And don't forget our pr producer uh, at 3 Meanie. Hell yeah. yeah. Exactly. Thank you very much, Brendan. Thank very, you, guys. Wish you the best of luck with the album. I, I know it's going to, everybody's going to love it. Everybody's going to love it. Going to listen yeah, to it. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you, brothers. I love you. All right. Peace. All right, buddy. Good to see Bye. you.